Where is this guy? What's taking him so long? I know, right? It's weird. Yeah. Hmm. What's this? Don't come over here. Do not come over here. You know this girl? Yes, I do. Tell us the story of Tara. Well, I actually started, you know, going into the chat rooms, you know, just as a way to meet people that were bi and lesbian. You know, I was looking for that group. And Tara actually, she's like, hey. Hey. Just, yeah, literally, yeah. just hey. And then, Modern you know, the romance. conversation. Love at first, hey, kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was really intense. Like, we talked almost every day, completely smitten. It was love. But then things changed. After so many times of, like, hey, let's meet, she got into an accident. Like a car accident? Yeah. That was when, like, the variety of excuses started. Oh, I can't talk to you because I suffered some type of injury to my brain. It's like it was always the, the excuse with my head is broken kind of thing. And I was just like, OK, whatever. But you genuinely love her. Yeah, I, like I have like a legit bond with her. I've shared things with her that I wasn't so comfortable with telling people that I lived with. Little things in my life, the stuff that I was going through with, you know, college and, you know, being faced with the whole thing of coming out. You've used the internet to really kind of express your sexuality. Yeah, I would say that. Has it ever occurred to you that maybe Tara is someone else in the chat room? You know, there were two people. The first one, Nicole, we were friends for a few months and then we dated. In person? Mm-hmm. And how was that, like, what was that relationship like? It was really good, like, you know, the whole honeymoon phase. And then she just didn't like the fact that I was bi because she was full-on lesbian. She hated that. And me and her broke up on bad terms. There was another girl after that, Mary. She was maybe four years older than me. We started off as friends, then we dated. Where did she live? Originally Mississippi, and then she actually came here. So she moved here? Yeah. To be with you? Yeah, she came Whoa. with her mom and her five-year-old son. Did they get their own place? That was the, the plan. I, you know, she told me she had a whole list of plans that she would do. But when she got here, she had no plan at all. There was some sense of responsibility there to help her in that sense. But, you know, I knew when she got here, it was just going to be a big mess. Wow. How did that end? I told her, like, you know, I'm, this is too much for me. Um, the responsibility is not, you know, one that I initially thought that I would have to be a part of. And she kind of like went a little bit nutty on me. Yeah, that situation kind of ended badly as well. Well, someone's coming. Hi. How are you? Good. Are you Tara? Yes. I'm Neve. You want to come out? It's pretty cold yeah, out Yeah, I want to talk to Paris. Yes, I imagine that's why you invited us here. Oh, oh my God, yeah, I did. Well? Hey, babe. Thought you never could love me. What? Do you know each other? I'm real. Who is it? Mary. It's Mary? Yeah. Nice to meet you. We spoke to you, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. And you said you were married and you have a kid. Right. Is that true? Yes. You live here with your family? I do. Is this is just your event? Hmm. Wow. It's a lot of trouble to go to, at least but from the outside. Do you know what she's done to me? Well, we don't know anything. Right. Mm. What did you do, Paris? Tell them. Oh, this is. Well, we've heard great. her. Very... Uh, I'm sure you have. Yeah. Well, I'm curious to hear your side of it. We're up here. We came to meet you. Right. I... What's the reason for yeah. the revenge? Well, we had plans to be together. Yeah, where did I end up? What did you come with? What did I come with? A whole lot of baggage. Who told me to come? I told you to come. You told me that you had options as far as like what you do when you got here. 
then you would be like, well, we don't know where we're gonna stay tonight. And you left that to me to be responsible for you, your mother, and your five-year-old. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah, that's really selfish. No, Paris, she's not telling the whole story. Okay. Where did you put me? I don't say I put you anywhere. You I did. gave you an option. You put me there. She stayed in a, a women's homeless shelter. So I'm gonna challenge you a little bit on this because you lived at home. Mm -hmm. So for yeah. you to in any way indicate that maybe your new girlfriend could stay with you in your home would have been presumptuous because your mom probably wouldn't have approved of it. I wouldn't say I mean, it wouldn't have, no, I wouldn't have said that at all but because you like, she stayed the very first night that she came okay. and she stayed. And then when my mom was like, okay, well, this is not gonna happen. What can I do about it? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. So she was kind of giving you the cold shoulder. Yeah, and You I got the her. hint yep. and you left. Mm -hmm. Where'd you go? South Carolina. You went to South with Carolina. your mom and your son? Yep where we met my wife. And are you guys happy? Absolutely. She, and let me mind so y'all, I took care of myself when I first moved good, to South Good, because you're an adult, and right. that's important. Okay, so yeah. you meet this great girl in South Carolina. You're all set and happy and in love with, with a new girl. What are you doing plotting revenge <laughs> against this other girl? Why not just cut the cord, let her go, let the Why past not? go? Like I said, revenge. Whose voice were you using on the phone? Somebody close to me. Was it your wife? Yeah. She kind of understood. Is that who I spoke to the other day? Yeah. OK. Cool. Wouldn't it be the job of a spouse or a partner, wife, to tell you that this is not right, just move past it? She kind of dwelled with you? Like, what kind she of a knows person you is she? It. Oh, yeah, great. But, but you know, I'm like kinda done. the jokes I'm is just kind of on you, though. Because I... you were out for revenge, and you know you got nothing out of it. So bye-bye. Sad excuse for a person. All right, we got this 19-year-old girl, Infinity, very sweet. Some handsome, slightly older guy hit her up on Facebook. They started chatting, and before she knew it, she was wrapped up in this romance. All right, so let's see what we got. She sent over an email. Hey, guys, I found Dave's Instagram, but it's locked, so I can't see anything. I know we were following each other, so I don't know what the deal is. Well, maybe when she told him that she had called us to be on Catfish, he locked it up. Ooh. I have two friends that I told about you guys coming to town. The first is my best friend, Nelly, and the second is my friend, Nay. They know I'm dating Dave. If you want to talk to them, it's cool. So Nay and Nelly, I would just throw up there as two possible suspects, considering I think this is going to be a girl, because she hasn't talked to him on the phone. Yeah. So let's call the friends now. All right, let's call the friends. All right. I like these 917 numbers. You have reached the voicemail. OK, so Nay is not picking up. But Nelly. All right, let's call the other girl. All right, calling Nelly. Hello? Hey, is this Nelly? Yes. It's Neve and Max from Catfish. Hi. I know that uh, Infinity told you we were in town, so we were hoping we could talk to you for a minute. Can we FaceTime you? Okay. Nelly! Hi. We were just curious to, to kind of get your take on Dave. Um, I know that she doesn't know much about him, but she's happy, so. Are you skeptical that he might not be who he says he is? I wasn't until we were supposed to meet in Miami. He didn't show up, so. Wait, you were supposed oh. to meet in Miami? Well, he told Infinity he was going to be in Miami. So we planned to all meet up um, at a restaurant, and he just never showed up. Wow, so you guys planned a whole trip sort of around him being there. Right. And then he wasn't even there. Yes. But she's never even talked to him on the phone. She's definitely spoke to him on the phone. I mean, this is what she told me. She's telling us things that she apparently isn't telling you, so She's I'm also not like, telling us things that clearly have happened. I'm thinking she probably is just embarrassed, so she's probably just trying to, like, make it seem like she knows more than she does. Yeah. All right, maybe we'll run into you in the next couple days. Okay. All right, thanks, Nelly. So that's interesting. Who is lying now? Right. Is yeah. Infinity just leaving certain details out because she doesn't want to make Dave seem worse than he already does. Or is she telling two different stories to two different sets of people? Right. So, um, so it wasn't Ray. 
It's been me. You are, you have been Dave this whole time. Yep. Infinity, you did it to me. Really? when did I ever do anything like that to you? You gave that boy my number in high school, and you thought it was so funny. Even if so, that was like, man, that was years ago. Yeah, but, and then I got you back. Well, hold on a second. You did it as a joke? Yeah, I thought it was funny at first. And then it just went on. So in high school, she gave your number to a boy that liked her as a joke. Yeah, and then it wasn't a joke because he was, like, obsessed. But that ended, yep. right? And you knew that she had done that, and you guys had talked about it, and I get and it, it was resolved to some extent? To some extent. But you felt like she had kind of burned you. I just, I didn't think she, like, did anything mean. I thought it was funny. She just kind of pranked you, and now you wanted to prank her back. Yep, and then it just went a little too far. This is not funny. And Ray? I just asked him, because I didn't want to ruin the friendship. You asked him what? To take the fall. Do you have any romantic feelings towards Infinity? Like, would yeah. you want to date her? I wouldn't want to date, but I mean, I love her. I know, but do you love her as a friend or do you love her like Dave loved her? I don't love her like Dave loved her. You took it too far. Way too far. And what about the pick? Most of the stuff was just so she would be like, I can't do this anymore. Not showing up, not responding sometimes, disappearing. But the whole point of Dave, the point was that you would come forward and be like, ha ha ha, isn't that funny? I was Dave. Like, But I was like waiting for like something to happen. She like come to me and tell me about him to be like, oh, that's me. But that never happened until it was like too late. You could have just told me. I think you should laugh about it. <laughs> well, you might have thought this was funny. It's, at it, the beginning. Yeah, it, at the beginning, okay, but she took it too far. Like, she she did too much. It's hard to even sit here and listen to you guys talk about it. It's so juvenile and immature. The whole thing. You had just kind of, like, exploited her for a while to get a laugh, which is f***ed up and exactly. mean. I'm, I'm having flashbacks to, like, middle school right now. Take us back to March and tell us how this whole thing unfolded. Okay, so when me and Joey first started talking, he was really sweet. He wasn't asking for sexy pictures, you know, like the typical grinder scene. And just like Tinder, when you log on to Grindr and you meet someone, they have to actually be close to you. Yeah. Okay, so you start talking to mm -hmm. Joey. I'm curious, what is it that was so different about your conversation with him? I was really like nervous, obviously moving across the country away from everybody. So like I really poured my heart out to him and he was there to listen to me. All right, so you get out to San Diego. Was he like your go-to call when you yeah. were in a tough spot? Because he knew like a lot more intimate feelings than like friends did. Like my friends know me as very confident. Joey knows a little bit more of like the vulnerable side. Yeah, I myself around him. I would talk to him if I was feeling sad or homesick, and he was always there to comfort me. Do you call him? Yeah. So you're talking on the phone. We'd speak for like hours. <laughs> and you don't think there's any chance that like it could be someone you know pretending to be Joey, do you? No. It doesn't sound like any of my friends. Not that I know of. Oh, what's this? Um, what? Ew, what the f who, who is this? Hi, I'm Joey. How are you? Oh, no. your name is Joey. No, I'm Mikey. Oh, your name is Mikey. Yeah. Hi. Oh, my God. That's so sad. Hi, Jane. Hi. Nice to meet you. I Wait, you know each to... other? We used to be best friends back in the day. So hold on a second. What's the? What was the well, whole point I of this? wanted to break his heart. Like, I got oh, mine broken. Yeah. He had this, like, notion out of nowhere that I slept with his now ex-boyfriend. Out of nowhere, even though I witnessed it, you know, <laughs> with my two eyes in person. Your boyfriend's trying to get with me. You're obsessed with me. You need to stop. First Ugh. of all, put your hand down. No, not because that serious. I don't want to look at you. So Next don't look at your me. Go the other way. There's plenty of space in the world. this is a reality show, not a horror show. I can't stand you. I can't stand looking at you. So oh my don't. God. Oh my Jesus. God. Like, don't. Oh, God. Okay. Time out. Okay. Yeah. 
Mikey, you and Mike had been pretty good friends. And at some point in your past, you had a boyfriend, and you're pretty sure that that boyfriend slept or hooked um, up. I witnessed it, but he's going to deny it till the end, whatever. Did you That's his no, make I out with? He, no, or... I never did. He wanted to get with me. It doesn't matter. I didn't want any part of it. He groped me, and that was it. I had no part of it, not wanting okay. to do anything to do with it. So, so, and then what happened so, after that? You left, or? I didn't, I didn't leave the party, of course not, but. but like, it didn't, did it go any farther? It didn't go any farther with him, no. But, how long ago was this that something happened? It was like winter. Is that when Joey started? Winter? When did Joey start? March. So your relationship ended because of what happened at that party? Oh, uh, yeah. And then you found him on Grinder and broke his heart as a sort of revenge. Yeah. So who's, who's Joey? Whose picture is that? Some random guy yeah. that I found on Instagram. I don't even know him. OK. I don't know, I think it's just, it's a sad story. You went five months talking to me and it got you nowhere. I'm still living my best life ever in California. You're still Are here. you really though? I Is am. living your best life living off of sugar daddies? I really don't think it's fair for you to be judging him right now. You just yeah, you kinda, took five months of his life and kind really? of upended it. He's he took my relationship and ended it, so. Even like if, if you were... I did get with your boyfriend, it wouldn't matter because I would have done it much better than you anyway. I'm going to beat you at everything you ever do for your entire okay. life. You will always be uglier, older, disgusting. Okay. <laughs> You're like covered in like Cheeto dust. Whatever. Jasmine. Hey, wow. how are you? Hello. Come in. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. This do you want to hug? Hey, everybody. Hi. How are you? This is the crew. Uh, hey, everybody. crew. What's different about Mike from other guys that you know? Well, he's a funny person, okay. which I like, check. And <laughs> he listens to me, you know, if, if I'm telling him something, he'll text me back fast. And I really haven't had that in the last, you know, couple of years. Where is this guy? What's taking him so long? I know, right? It's weird. Yeah. Hmm. What's this? Don't come over here. Do not come over here. You know this girl? Yes, I do. <laughs> Don't come over here. Who is this? Missy. Don't come over here. Watch your flower. <laughs> you guys know each other? I know her. Clearly, I do. Yeah. <laughs> OK. So you must be Mike? Yes, I am Mike. How are you doing today, Jasmine? But you did this for what? Why not? Why? Why not? <laughs> Why, though? It's revenge. What do you mean? Revenge. And then wow. you're just so uh, slutty. Like, look at you, you get, though. Look at you. I look, look beautiful, what you, baby. Beautiful. Well, I look beautiful, nice, too. Nice, perfect size, uh -huh. nice looking real Yeah, good. but I had a baby, like, honey. OK. I had a baby. OK, it's so that's working it. out. Working okay, out. but it doesn't take but a day. Anywho. Hold on a second. <sighs> Just hold on a second. <laughs> give, give me a minute here. <laughs> I'm about to fire. Can wow. Can I please do it? Can I please? <laughs> please, hold on a second. Please, 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 please. Hold on a second. <sighs> Look at me for a second. Look at me for a second. I really want to be your ass. I really want to be your ass right now. I'm trying not to. I'm just, just really look at me. Just look at me. Just look at me. I can't. I can't. I'm really pissed off right now. I want to be your ass. I just. This is crazy. <laughs> oh. And you know Josh? Yeah, that's who she used to f with. <laughs> Whew. You know, I'm upset because. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be someone I liked. Like, <sighs> that's why Mike never called me. Something was wrong with this whole picture, and we knew it. She didn't take my flower. I threw it at her. She didn't pick it up. That's sad, huh? Mac, will you stay here for one second? Yeah. And just talk. Just yeah. Don't yeah. Turn that way so she doesn't have to look. You know, like and you go over there. Yeah. Mm. Who is she? She used to f with Josh, the one I told you about. Trace. Yeah. Forgive me, I'm a little just trying to kind of catch up. Yeah. Uh, as far as I can tell, okay. 
You and Jasmine have known each other. Yeah. I met her at the mall, and we was talking about who we was dating and talking to, and she brought up Josh. And it's a coincidence that both of us was with Josh. So you created the Mike Davis profile specifically to stop her from, you know. And you wanted to take her attention away from Josh yeah, and put it so on another she, guy. Yeah, so she can leave him alone. No, I want to see why she did this. That's what I want to do. Missy. Uh, no, excuse me. Please. Okay, you can go. I just want to no, ask let, some questions. Let her do. Let her go. All right. I just. Okay, so think. I just want to know why you did it. That's all. Why do I'll, you do the things you do? Like I was talking to this person, supposedly Mike, for two years. You don't. <laughs> Who does this? You, you talking so to somebody for two years? You only heard their voice twice. Two different voices at that. Why I did you do it? You that's right, that's right. I already told you that. Okay, but she now, still hasn't answered. I'm gonna get loud. Listen, well, you did it over tricks. Point blank, period. Because Mike's. Mike is friends Over with Triggs. Triggs. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Okay. And you still and he gave him your information no more. Baby, Triggs is driving my car as we speak. As we speak, baby. Triggs is using her. <sighs> Psych. He's using you. Psych, but he stays in my house. Okay. Get out of here. That's cool. He's still using you. <laughs> it's, it's just pretty a place funny to how stay. he didn't want you. Yeah, I don't give a. Uh, obviously, this guy Josh got in between you guys. Yeah, he did. He did. I'm not gonna lie about okay. that. Okay, it had to be something pretty intense for you to spend two years yeah. getting revenge on her. No, it, it's just that I wanted her to leave Joshua alone, and she act like she couldn't. It was, just, a, it was just about Josh? Yes, really, wow. it was. That, so no, why are you so, I'm going to be calm. To why? Man, not you. I don't care. Get the out of here. You gotta watch who you're talking get to. Out my don't, face. Put your don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me. Get out my face. I'm not doing this. Do not put your hands on me. Bitch, I'll show you your hands I'm good. I'm good. Some credit card or some Subject. My cousin is getting catfished. Oh, it's a family affair. My name is Carmen. I'm 30 years old and live in Cincinnati, Ohio. My cousin's name is Antoine, and he is in love with a guy named Tony, even though they've never met. Hmm. He is convinced that Tony is the one for him. All I ever hear is how Tony is the cheese to his macaroni, and I don't understand how he can even trust the guy. Plus, Antoine has never even seen a picture of Tony. I came to find your love under the sun. The only time they talk is when Tony calls, so Antoine just has to wait by the phone. Does Antoine not have Tony's number? I don't know, it's hard to... It's, it's all on Tony's terms. Right. Antoine and Tony have been talking for three years, and he's never made an effort to come to Cincinnati to see him. Very lovable guy, but he's easily fooled. He's a romantic. He's never been in a real relationship, and he's in deep with Tony. This dude is lying. Please help, Carmen. So that's it. Those were our three addresses. No more addresses? That was it. Well, let's get back in the car. All right. It's cold. Let's go. But I don't want to get back in a car, because I'm oh, going to find something. I mean, we're, we're trying we everything we can. Tawan, the reason why you stupid idiot can never find who Tony is because I'm Tony. What's happening? What's going on? Why the would you do that? Because. Read my you years old, that ain't you, cool. you should've never That's called me a fat ass Kelly Price. You get mad off of that little bitty boy though. That's up. It's life, deal with it. It ain't no Tony. Where's that? Oh, Anna? well, for real, three years? I'm thinking it's Tony, you ain't no, no my Tony. It's life. You have to deal with it. That ain't no my life. Is. That's bull. That's not bull. It's over. Don't talk to me ever no more, and I mean that. It was the right thing to do. Can you please go follow me with that damn camera? Yeah, I want a lot of space. Like, please. Like, 10 times more space. I don't even feel like talking about this bull. Gonna play me like that. Now I'm going around over three people in my house thinking I'm about to see a Tony. Our fat ass playing. I'm over here. So what? What you want to do? I'm over here. OK. I just want to make sure I have the whole relationship timeline mm -hmm. clear. So three years ago, you started dating Brandon. I've been with Brandon for three years on and off. I finally decided to tell him that I loved him. And he just said, I'm not ready to settle down. I still need to date around. And uh -huh. I was just like, OK. So that's when I made the Tinder profile. Jordan messaged me that same day. 
was like, it was cute, so he started messaging. Everything with Jordan just came natural. We just had a connection. And he's helped me through a lot, too. About five months ago, my dad, he had a stroke. Jordan was just there for me. I told other people about it. They just kind of brushed it off like they didn't care. So he's sweet. Yeah, he is. But after a while, I tried to meet up with Jordan in Oakland at the bar, and he said, I'm on my way. So me and my friend Silica, CC, she's one of my closest friends. She just gives me a lot of advice about him. She says that we're gonna be cute together, and she thinks he's a good guy. We just sat there at the bar for four hours waiting for this guy. And I tried to call him and text him, and his phone was off. I was just hoping that maybe he would show up. And that's the day that I broke up with Jordan. Okay, good for you. Yeah, but then <laughs> but we then. started talking again. About a month later, he contacted me, and we have been talking ever since. But he can't even talk on the phone. No, whenever I ask him, he just won't answer. Do you think Jordan could be a woman? Uh, I don't really want to consider that. I love him. We're supposed to be moving in together. We plan to get married. Whoa, 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 wait, wait a second. You've been talking to him about getting married and moving in together? Yes. We plan to move to Texas, maybe, or Atlanta. We were thinking about something like that. Um, well, so what's up? I mean, obviously something's going on. Yeah, I couldn't sleep last night. It's weighing over me. Give it, give it to us. I actually been talking to Jordan. You've been talking to You've him on the side. Yes. I started following him. First, he sent me a friend request, and I sent him one back. And then after that, I was trying to feel to see, like, who is this guy that she's been talking to? And then all of a sudden, we DM'd each other, and then we end up exchanging oh. phone numbers. Whoa. Talked on the phone. Wait, you talked to him on the phone? Yes. Like an actual conversation? Yes, he calls me, he leaves me voicemails, oh, he, he still texts. Does? Wait a second. Yes. S but you haven't met him? I haven't met him. Have I want to. Video or chatted or FaceTime? No. Facebook video, nothing. No. Do you ever talk about Angel when you talk to him? Well, if anything, I tell him, like, you need to tell her that we are in communication with each other. I mean, if I were Angel and you told me this, I'd be f really mad. Yeah, I bet. I'd be furious. Yeah. Girl code would be, I don't do that. That's why I feel awful. But I feel like she always had Brandon, so it's like, you've been playing Brandon and Jordan pretty much. Having seen Angel go through that, why would you think, oh, this is a good guy for me to start talking to because things will be different? I mean, I just had a baby. Like, i am I've been an emotional wreck. Right after a baby, there's like crazy emotions and... Right. So it feels so good to have somebody that actually cares and care about my kids. Like, I have two kids now, and I'm only 27, but I actually have somebody on a romantic level with me. And you believe... Jordan is who he says he is? I do. Can we hear a voicemail? Do you have sure. one? Just press play. All right, hey. so let's see what we think. Let's see, okay. Yeah, well, I was just you know, calling. And then I'm actually going to hear your voice or something. That's a guy's voice. <laughs> That's a voice. Sounds That's a real like person. a man. And you guys have talked. Yeah. On the phone. A lot. Do you think the energy and the love and the attention that you're getting from Jordan is meaningful and something you really want to pursue? Yeah. Enough that you're willing to risk a long time friendship with Angel? Yes. That's Angel, right? Mm hmm. Hey. Hi. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing all right. See you. Kinda. Getting a little nervous. Good to see you too. So we're just waiting. Yeah. Trying to figure out what the heck's going on here. <sighs> it's not you, is it? <laughs> no. So you're not Jordan? No, I'm not Jordan. You're not Jordan. No, it's 2.30. You ain't heard from him. No. Do you want to know why you ain't heard from him? Because I'm Jordan. Stupid bitch. What? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. 
I don't understand. Hey. So you made the profile. Mm -hmm. It's been you the whole time. Yep. Why would you do this for this long? It, I... don't, it don't matter how long I've been doing it. You had it coming. What did she have coming? This girl been stealing dudes from me for years. How does it feel? Because it don't feel good, right? It don't feel good. What is, what is this? So you created the profile. Yes, I did. To match with her, because you mm -hmm. knew she was on Tinder. Mm -hmm. I was eventually going to tell her, but she wanted to meet Jordan. So here I am. Who's? What are these guys that, that you stole? Is that true? Or? I don't know what she's talking about. You don't? Use your brain. You don't know? No, you fine. stole three dudes from me, Angel? I didn't steal anybody from me. Roy? Troy and Chris. What? I guess this would have been like years ago. Yes. There were there were some guys that you started talking mm -hmm. to. Relationships or these were guys that you I would... wasn't in a relationship. So, would... so we were talking in the midst of talking. These are people that could have been potential for me. Oh, oh, I'm drunk. I'm drunk. I was sitting on his lap. That you don't do. Once she was at a party, she magically appeared on his lap. It didn't feel good. I, I don't think it's that unusual for someone who's 18, 19 to sit on a guy's lap. Like, that stuff is well, that, young. Well, let's put it like right? this, that I don't do. And that's not cool. And that's you're right. I don't do. But now the that you have done yeah. is, like, pretend to be your best friend's boyfriend. I could be friend. dumb, she could be dumb, too. OK, first of all, they tried to talk to me. OK, just like, like you said, to... it's the girl code. You don't do like that. Can you just stop when I did that? Stupid. How am I being stupid? What boyfriend? Oh, my God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do it. Get on my Let's do it. Do you're not a nothing. You a dumbass for talking to all some right. stupid ass right. dude on the internet. I'm gonna lay you out. You gonna lay me out? I'm oh, gonna go right here. Right. Right. No one's I'm laying anyone out right so, now. You guys. Before, why don't you go over there with Angel? I'm okay. ready to go. Shh. I'm ready. Stupid. I'm done talking to her. Who gonna take me home, Nee? We can. We can. Someone can take you. I'm home. ready to go. I'm done with this, man. This doesn't make any sense. So you don't remember you? Troy or Roy or Chris? I don't remember their names, but I do remember sitting on some guy's lap. And she got mad. Yeah, but they tried to talk to me. I wasn't trying to talk to them like that. So, However many years ago and however small it was, it looks like it really hurt her more than you realize. I mean, is it OK for her to pretend to be your boyfriend? That's insane. No, that's why I don't feel bad. I but at the same time, bad. this is going to sound kind of up, but you got all the attention. Probably years of playing second fiddle to you. I mean, that probably sucks. Maybe she was jealous of your relationship with Brandon. She feel like she can try to get every dude because of your looks. I hear you, I hear you. And all of a sudden, they're texting her. And then I get pushed to the curb. That's how it always is. Every time we go out, it's like guy after guy is always after her. And then I find a little bit of somebody. And then you take it away. Right. You did it three times. Yes, it was not right for me to fake, you know, to date her. And I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, Y'all came out here to help That's her. That's all right. But I had to get it out. We've never had two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on. 